Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Janelle Slade. New information tonight surrounding the massive Miles City sex abuse case involving a former high school athletic trainer. That case involves dozens of former male student athletes who say they were subject to sexual massages and inappropriate touching by James Jensen, a trainer they thought they could trust. Survivors of the abuse accused the Miles City Unified School District of doing nothing to stop it. Well, today, a summary judgment hearing in Miles City pushed that civil case one step closer to trial. The admitted abuser was not in the courtroom. Well, now this question is in the hands of a judge whether the district is responsible for Jensen's conduct and if the district is accountable for not protecting victims. Q2's Andrea Lutz reports from Custer County District Court. Well, parties met here for a formal hearing. Custer County District Court, all of this involving a massive sex abuse case with the former Miles City athletic trainer, James Jensen. The question is whether the Miles City Unified School District was aware of sex abuse reported by James Jensen's victims and whether a Montana state law in place at the time prevented the district from having to report instances of sex abuse. Attorney Gina Lervik says the law at the time applied to cases of abuse by a parent or guardian. Our argument is that the statute wasn't at the time something that we could have complied with. It doesn't mean that we wouldn't have or didn't want to. It just means as a matter of law, we could not have complied with it because that's not what it was at the time. However, attorneys for the 32 plaintiffs in the case say Montana case law says otherwise. Attorney John Heenan says a public school district has an obligation to keep children safe. Mandatory reporting is there for a reason. The law says that there's certain people because they're in a, a trust position with our children that if they see something going on, if they see a child being harmed, if they see a child potentially being abused, they have an obligation to let law enforcement know. Lervik says the district had no responsibility for Jensen. He was a volunteer for the school up until a certain point in time. Heenan saying they have three accounts of documented abuse by victims reported to the administration and that the administration looked the other way. Now this hearing only taking less than an hour and now the judge says that he'll probably take the next couple of weeks to make his ruling ahead of trial in Custer County District Court. Andrea Lutz, MTN News. Thanks, Andrea. Now, Jensen has already admitted to federal charges related to the case. He did that back in March in a Missoula federal courtroom. He also faces state charges in Custer County for possessing child pornography.